Lloyd Webber is responsible for many hit Broadway musicals, including The Phantom of the Opera, Evita, Sunset Boulevard, and Jesus Christ Superstar, which first came to Broadway way back in 1971. The show is completing its first quarter century now and is now back in New York City, Madison Square Garden. The former lead singer of the rock group Sticks, not the former lead singer, he's the lead singer of the rock group Sticks, Dennis DeYoung, plays Pontius Pilate in this production. His latest CD, by the way, is a collection of show tunes called Ten on Broadway. And joining us this morning once again is Dennis DeYoung. Good to have you back with us this morning. Good to be here, We've got to dispel all these myths. Sticks is still around. Sticks is still around. We're just, uh, at the moment, we're not making any records or touring. <laughs> but, but we you, still exist. But you are individually, and the Tenor Broadway yes. has done very well for you. It has done great, and uh, I owe a lot to Atlantic Records and Danny Goldberg for giving me the opportunity to make the record. Fantastic. Now tell me about how you first came to play Pontius Pilate, because that had the Danny Goldberg connection too, was it? Yes. Um, actually, the, the story goes like this. I went to a wedding, my sister-in-law's wedding, Dawn, uh, about two years ago. I'd never met her husband, and he came up to me and said he was the executive producer of the show at the reception. He said this, I've been waiting for this moment to say to you, would you play Pontius Pilate in this production? And because uh, he said he'd cast everybody else. And uh, so I took the job, went on the road, and when I was in Los Angeles performing, uh, Danny Goldberg saw me do the show and signed me to a solo deal with Atlantic. And so my, my advice to anyone who's struggling and wants to know how to get into show business, I'd say marry somebody get in the family. who has a brother-in-law. <laughs> it works well. <laughs> Had you ever done any uh, Broadway or, or show kind of music before that? No, uh, although Styx was, you know, was always known as being a kind of a, a theatrical rock band, right. I had never really done any, any Broadway anything before. I whistled show tunes once in a while on the elevator, <laughs> but other than that, Very impressive. nothing. Hey, the first Grammy for whistling <coughs> went to you, I understand. So, <laughs> let, let me get, take me back to the first night you went on stage playing this role. What was it like okay. for you? Pretty much like this. Where's the camera? <laughs> but choose this one. <laughs> Stunned? Oh, please. <laughs> Scared? I forgot, you know, I, mo all my scenes are with Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I, I was going like this. Which is fairly intimidating in and of itself as a concept, right? Well, Teddy yeah. Neely plays Jesus. He looks just like, you know, he looks like the Franklin Mint plate, right. you know, exactly, exactly like that. So <clears throat> I got a good story about that. When they, one night Teddy wasn't in the show, I had never, well, in, in theater, they bring in understudies. You don't rehearse. I didn't know this. So this f first scene I come out to see Teddy, I'm supposed to look at him and recognize him as, as the savior and, and go, oh my God, this is the guy I dreamed about in a dream. Well, the understudy came in, and his name is Danny Zoli. He's kind of a burly guy with long black hair and a beard. Mm -hmm. And I walked out, and I looked at him, and I went, Jesus, that's Barabbas. So, <laughs> it's the wrong I guy. Got the Someone get Jesus out here. They reversed it. God. It'll say Guards, you let the wrong guy go. <laughs> Just think, history would be a lot Woo. different that way, wouldn't it? Yeah, I said, oh, <laughs> crucify him, what do I care? <laughs> <laughs> this is where I just resort to silence for a second. <laughs> So, so you've got, obviously got more comfortable over the, over the years playing it, and, and uh, is it still a kick to go out there and, and just get inside this character? Well, um, it's, you know, th there is no, Pilot is allowed no humor, you know, so it's very serious, and every time you're up there, you have to be going, okay, I'm Pontius Pilate, and everyone's counting on me to make this thing happen, so I do feel a great deal of pressure, you know, to, to kind of make the thing happen. What song are you going to do for us this morning? Uh, Pilot Stream. Well, that sounds like a good yeah. one. I will get out of your way. Okay. Dennis DeYoung with Pilot Stream and Keith Thompson <coughs> on the piano.
my name and leaving me the blame. Wow. You can't, you can't get into that, don't you? <laughs> Where's Jesus? <laughs> Once again, I resort to silence. I understand <laughs> congratulations are in order. 25th anniversary? Uh, 20, 25 years uh, Wednesday, this That's past right. Wednesday. And I was on stage, and uh, my wife was going, Honey, 25 years, you're still on stage? <laughs> when will this end? <laughs> Hopefully never. Listen, yes. it's great to have you with us Thank this you. morning. Congratulations. Good luck with this, with the 10 on Broadway. And uh, we'll look for the Sticks uh, tour when that's announced again. Thank you. Dennis DeYoung. We'll take a break right now and be back with more on Today in a moment. But first, this is Today on NBC. I met to Galilee, a most amazing mile. He had that look. Chemistry is the... Have you, we, been doing your, have you been climbing your stairs? Uh, I, I live in a ranch house. <laughs> there are some stairs around here, I'll find a neighbor here, with stairs. <laughs> no, no, no. We have a nice elevator. Also, friend star Courtney Cox will be here. Uh, you have a great week. A pleasure. Thank you. Last few weeks. Enjoyed it. It's it was great fun. Okay. And we will leave you now with more of the music of Dennis DeYoung, and we'll see you back here next weekend. Yeah. People stop and stare. They don't bother me. For there's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be Let the time go by I don't care if I can be found on the street where you live And so the towering feeling Just to know Somehow you are near The overpowering feeling That any second you may suddenly appear People stop and stare They don't bother me For there's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be let the time go by I don't care if I can be found on the street where you live can be found on the street